We have a couple of breaks here on this Tuesday night. We've got some Origins football and some Bowman Chrome baseball. And uh, as it stands right at this moment, we may have some unpaid teams in Origins football. Right now I'm setting on three of them, including, of course, the best team in the break. Because doesn't that always happen? Oh, of course it does. Adding to the delight of my day. But anyway, uh, we do have a little information to go over before we get started, and then we will try to sell through those uh, teams after we go over our info here. So first up, feedback, 100% automated on eBay, and that is done just so you never have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. And of course, the second Thing there is to say thank you. I appreciate you bidding and breaking and most importantly paying. Those of you who actually pay, I really appreciate. All these people that like to bid and not pay, hmm, not so much. All right, let's take a look at what is coming up in the days ahead. Tomorrow night we're going to open XR football full case and the back half of Contenders Basketball, the case that we started uh, a couple of nights ago. On Thursday night, we're going to open Gold Rush Gem Mint Series 2 Baseball. There are 12 packs in that box, and the box is kind of the same as a case of that particular product. At any rate, this will be break number one. Behind that will be Leaf Trinity Football, a full case of it on Thursday night. Then on Friday, we're going to open National Treasures Baseball, followed by a half case of Spectra Football. Those are loose boxes from a shared case. The NT Baseball is a new release for Friday, and then we'll open a case of Bowman Chrome as well. Um, right now, I guys, I messed up. I, I forgot that we also have, um, well, now I've forgotten the name of the product. <laughs> well, we have a football product, uh, Illusions, that's coming out on Friday, too. And I don't have it listed, so it's going to get plugged into Saturday, but it just isn't in there yet. So that'll probably show up uh, tomorrow on a three-day auction set to end on Saturday night will be that new release, Illusions Football. On Sunday, we're going to start very early at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. We'll open a pair of Gold Rush Autograph Baseball jerseys, a full case of TriStar Game Day Greats autographed football jerseys, a full case of TriStar Game Day Greats full-size football helmets, which are also a new release this week, uh, and there are three of those in a case. And then we're going to open Leaf Memorabilia Treasury. That is, uh, it's got five memorabilia items in it. It is, it can have all kinds of things in it. So it's a multi-sport product. It can also technically be a non-sport product because there are categories that are, you know, autographed other items. So all of that is listed by specific bidding categories, and it is all listed in the football section if you're looking for it. Next up, we're taking a look at uh, some information here that you need to know. Origins and Bowman Chrome, right now I'm projecting that to go out on Saturday, but honestly that may very well go into Monday of next week. Uh, we've had a death in the family this afternoon, and I'm not yet sure of exactly when and where and how all of the arrangements are going to be made, and obviously that's going to take up some time. So for now, it is projected for Saturday, but please understand it may actually be later. It may actually be Monday before it gets out the door, but I will do my best to get it to you on Saturday. Now, normally, if people paid, we would be ready to just go right on and take a look at the next step on our spreadsheet. But because people don't pay, uh, we're going to have to take a look and see what teams need to be paid in here and try to find them a home. So, it looks like we have available here in Origins Football the Packers, which sold last for $19.50 on eBay. Then we have the Jags, which sold for $41, and of course, just of course, to add to the joy of my day, the person who bid for the Giants did not bother to pay for it, and the underbidder doesn't want it either. So, um, I need to find homes for those. The Giants last sold for $315. Um, the Jags again sold for $41. The Packers sold for $19.50, so if... 
someone wants one or more of those, start throwing some offers up there. Preference is always going to go to the person who would take, uh, you know, three of the teams. If somebody wanted all three, then otherwise, you know, two, then down to one, etc. cetera. Uh, but I've, I've got to find homes for those three teams. Otherwise, we'll have to set it aside and do Bowman Chrome and come back to it. So that's the sitch right now. Is anybody interested in any of those three teams? The New York Giants, the Jags, and the Packers in Origins football, all sitting here unpaid in eBay at the moment. Um, Eric, I do have you for the Cubs. Yes, sir. Uh, everybody is paid in Bowman Chrome, which I appreciate. We just have these three unpaid teams here in Origins, of course, one of them being the best, biggest bid in the whole entire case. But that's the kind of, you know, day it's been. <laughs> uh, the teams, again, they are the Giants, the Jags, and the Packers. The Packers last ended at 1950 on eBay. The Jags ended at 41. The Giants ended at 316. Now, I realize that someone may not want to pay 316 for the Giants, but um, I'm going to ask you if you're interested at all in these teams to throw out your bid amounts, and let's try to move on down the road. Joe's offering 200 for the Giants, so right now uh, that's the high bid on the Giants is at 200 And... Um, Stang Lover, are you interested in the other two, or is anybody else interested in the other two, the Jags and the Packers? If we can't find them homes right now, then we'll have to um, go ahead and do Bowman Chrome and come back to this and see if anybody's bothered to pay in the interim. Uh, Diamond Dave, I mean, I don't know who's in this product. The Jags obviously have Gardner Minshew and Josh Allen is probably their two primary rookies. I'm sure they have others. I don't know if either of them are in this product. You would have to uh, look at the checklist. I don't remember off the top of my head. We haven't opened it in a while. So, Sting Lover, no, you don't want uh, any of the teams. Okay, so right now we've only got somebody interested in the Giants at a bid amount of 200 which of course, is a third less than they sold for. But, hey, what are you going to do? person doesn't pay for it, they're not going to pay for it. So, pretty soon, there won't be anybody left to bid. I will have blocked so many people for non-payment. All right, so no one else here uh, interested in the Jags or the Packers. Is that right? If that's the case, then we're just going to go ahead and go into Bowman Chrome, and we'll revisit Origins Football after we break Bowman Chrome. All right, then I'm going to get the spreadsheet uh, set up for that. And we will take a look at it first, and we'll just break origin second then. Maybe somebody will pay in the meantime. Ha <laughs> ha, that's like a joke, isn't it? <laughs> okay, um, so this is going to be a 12-box case of 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball and it is break number three, and of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 24th. We've got team names there on the left-hand side, winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. And everybody in here is paid, so thank you once again, those of you who, uh, who, who all of you, most of you bid and pay your bills, which I really appreciate. It's the few that don't that kind of wreck it for the rest of it, isn't it? You're going to notice here as well that the background is going to go out of focus a little bit. That is on purpose, so please don't let that uh, get you worried. Well, that should worry you because I did that by accident, <laughs> but <laughs> that one shouldn't uh, because we'll still be able to see everything we need to see without any problems there. All right, so Bowman Chrome. It is a lot of packaging to get to a few cards. They, they really like their packaging with this product. <laughs> so we've got two mini boxes inside of each master box. Each of our mini boxes will have an autograph in it as well as, you know, usually some parallels and inserts and things of that nature. So the end result of it, uh, when we're all said and done, is 24 autographs and then, of course, whatever we can 
find as parallels and such as well. And we will uh, hopefully find a lot of that kind of stuff in there. So let me get a few sleeves here out on the table. And we are going to get rolling here with a little Bowman Chrome. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, Joe, you are offering 250 for all three of those teams. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it may come to that, man. Um, that I, I honestly, truthfully, no offense to you, but I hope it doesn't because it's, you know, almost $400 worth of bids. <laughs> but if they are still all three setting unpaid when we get to that break and... And uh, there isn't anybody else that's interested in them, then they will probably end up being yours. So we'll see if you're uh, where we end up, Joe, if you are cool with that. Um, after we finish this, I'll see if anybody else paid or not. And if not, then you're going to end up with a very good bargain tonight. Ah, you like uh, Eric's looking for some Braves in here. Okay. Oh, Diamond Dave is looking for some Braves, and Eric also wants to see him because he's from Atlanta. All right, I gotcha. Diamond Dave, you said it's uh, Green Bay and Jacksonville have mostly numbered cards in Inception. Okay. You know, as I said, we haven't opened it in a few months, so it is hard for me to remember. We've opened so many things in the meantime that it's hard for me to think about and remember what else there is. Tell you what, I'm just going to get all these mini boxes out of here. Just get that all done at once. And then we'll get some of this uh, stuff off the table. How about that for a plan? I like that plan. Kid Perfect is looking for some Blue Jays. A little Toronto love. Alright then. That sounds good to me. We'll work on that. Let's uh, rearrange this a bit. I don't know. I just don't want all this on the table. I think I do usually take the mini boxes out first, but I'm a bit out of my, I'm a bit out of sorts tonight. I'm not in my rhythm. So I apologize for that. For anybody who jumped in in the middle, we are going a little bit out of the order I had originally anticipated. Origins football is now going to be second because we're sitting on uh, almost $400 in unpaid bids. And if anybody's interested in any of those teams, uh, we're talking about the Giants and the Jags and the Green Bay Packers. Right now, Joe's got the high offer of $250 for all three teams. Um... So that's where we sit at the moment. Of course, some of those could be, I didn't mean to do that. Some of those could be sold out individually as well if we needed to. Joe, you're looking for some Marlins and some Brewers. All right, my friend. Let's try to find you some Marlins and some Brewers. See what we can get out of there for you and our Blue Jays for Kid Perfect and the Braves for for Diamond Dave. So and the Cubbies, of course, for Eric. So we got a lot of a lot of mojo we're trying to work on tonight, don't we? Hopefully, the cards will be kind to us this evening. Desiree, you're looking for a little Tatis, huh? All right. Well, we'll uh, try to find you some Tatis then. How about that? Let's try and make that work for you. All right. There's all of our mini boxes out. Um, of course, I'd already taken the packs out of the first two of them before I decided to take all the rest. <laughs> so, uh, um, Josh, the... Jags last ended at 41 on eBay. The Packers had ended at 1950, and the Giants ended at 316. Those are the three unpaid, at least as of the last time I looked. 
And of course, after we do Bowman Chrome here, I will pull that up again, see if anybody paid for any of that. Um, occasionally they do, but usually if it's not paid by the start of the break, they can get paid, but occasionally. So we'll check it and see, but otherwise those are the three that are open. And right now Joe has the high amount with um, uh, 250 for all three teams. So Stat Tracker, we're going to find loads of these inserts. They are all uh, refractors, but for the most part, they're not numbered. If we run across one that is numbered, of course, I'm going to flag that to you as we go along. And our first color of the evening is a Brave, as a matter of fact. It's numbered to 99, and there's a little Colby, who I believe actually has been traded away, if I recall correctly. We'll find lots of these, too. Um, they are Arizona Fall League cards. That particular one to the White Sox, those all refract as well, and they are typically not numbered. So our first purple of the night. Purple are typically to 250. Uh, there are, though, purple shimmer in here as well, and if we see purple shimmer, those are not numbered usually, but straight purple that isn't the shimmer usually is numbered. There are the Cardinals with a little hit here for Austin Warner is our first autograph. Hey, hey, Cardinals on the board. Cardinals in the house. Um, Big Red Buck, we are going to do Origins, yes, but we're just going to have, we're doing it after Chrome because of those uh, three unpaid bids, one of them being rather monstrous in nature, and uh, we'll wait and see if those people, if any of those people have paid after we finish Chrome, um, whether they have or whether they haven't, uh, we're going to, you know, sell them on out and break it, but we're just going to do it after Chrome. Joseph, you're looking for some Dodgers. John is looking for some Mike Trout. And um, that is kind of, ooh, that's something we haven't seen yet. This is Elite Farmhands. So that, again, is an insert series that we're going to find throughout, but they are not numbered generally. That one was Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates. I like that card set, though, Elite Farmhands. So this is a purple shimmer, okay? You can see that extra little pattern there in the purple. Those are the ones that are not numbered. Purple that doesn't have that little, uh, what looks like rain kind of pattern in there, are numbered. You guys probably know this already, but every once in a while, you run across somebody who's maybe not as familiar with Topps products. So I like to kind of, you know, give it a go and explain it as we go. And here we have a little Durbin Feltman. Sounds like he should be in an American Pie movie, doesn't he? Durbin Feltman for the Red Sox. Does to me, anyway. Some of you probably don't even remember that movie. You're like, American Pie? What are you talking about? I know. <laughs> I know, I know. But anyway, that's just how it struck me. It struck me like he ought to be a character in American Pie. So, take it for what it's worth. Diamond Dave needs some Tigers, too. Um, Joe, you want to do the Giants only now, for, but for $250? Okay, well, we can we can do that uh, as well, of course. Elias, you got outbid on Green Bay. Um, well, the shipping would be included as long as you've already got a package coming. I don't charge you guys shipping when they're picked up in chat, generally speaking, unless you just don't have a package coming at all. Um so that's the deal with that. But yeah, we could potentially uh, do that. And looks like Jeffrey there is also offering for the Packers. He's uh, or he's offering for the Packers. You offered for oh the Green Bay too. Okay, all right, all right. So there you go. We'll get it. We'll get it sorted out. Uh, it sounds like we'll we'll be able to find them homes uh, anyway when we get finished up with with this uh, with this break. So. Appreciate you guys on that. Oh, Diamond Dave, you were saying that he was traded to the Tigers. Colby, right. I couldn't remember where he was traded. I just knew he was. It's to 150. There's a little Corbin Martin blue parallel for the Astros. So Houston is all uh, clinched and ready to go. Dodgers and Mike Piazza. These Arizona Fall League alumni cards so far seem to be coming out about to a case 
Now, I'm not going to say they're going to come out that way every single time, but in what we've opened so far, I've noticed them at to a case. Here's another purple shimmer. Yankees. Your little Esteban Floreal. Nice uh, young prospect there for the Yankees. Oakland A's get an autograph hit, and that is Jameson Hanna headed your way. And a Whit Merrifield, Kansas City Royal, blue to 150. Of course, all our blue are generally to 150. Arizona Fall League, Louis Robert, White Sox. And that mini box is finished up. See what I mean about the packaging, though? There's, like, so much of it. <laughs> so much of it. Eric, what are you saying about Durbin? You said Durbin poison? What'd you say? <laughs> oh, come on out of there, please, you silly, silly card packs. See, this is why I always show you guys the inside of these mini boxes. Well, any box, really. Is because every once in a while, something gets stuck in there. gets snagged up. And if I don't catch it, then when I show you the empty, you guys would catch it and be like, Hey, idiot, you left a pack in there. So, see? Ah, that's how it works. <laughs> and you can do that, too, by the way. Jump in there and say, Hey, idiot, this is what you did. Of course, you don't have to say idiot, but if you do, and I've done something dumb, that's okay. I'll accept it. I'll own it if I've been dumb. Sister 499, my man Joey Bart. All of our base refractors that are not autographed are going to be to 499. That's a nice hit for the San Francisco Giants. You guys know I'm a Cincinnati Reds fan, but I do like catchers. I've always had a thing kind of for catchers, and I think Joey Bart's going to be good. All right, this is the Brewers, and it is Cam Rohner, and I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but anyway, that's who it is. It's for the Brewers, who were beating my Reds the last I saw. Of course, I had to turn it off to work, so I don't know if they still are, but they were. Beaten up on us. Not too badly, though. It was three to two the last I saw. Can I not cut that one? I guess not. Of course, winding down at this part of the season, it matters to the Brewers, but it doesn't matter to the Reds if we win or lose at this point. Good Lord, we've lost <laughs> how many games? I don't even want to know. Don't even tell me either. Don't anybody type in there like, yes, you've lost 99 games or whatever. Don't tell me. <laughs> no, I want to know. I know it's a lot. That's good enough. Oh, John, you're a fan of the Reds, too? The big red machine? I know. 70s Reds were, like, the best, weren't they? 70s Reds were the bomb. That People don't say that anymore, do they? Sorry. That's the 250 Cedric Mullins purple Orioles. I'm, I'm a very uncool individual, so you have to forgive me. The Indians with an autograph for um, Brian Rocio, or perhaps not pronounced even remotely like that, but I always give it a go. Rizzo, Cubbies, $4.99, base refractor. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with my Reds. I mean, it looks like we should have been better this year than we were. But I say that every year, but eventually we're going to be better. I mean, we have some good young players. We just can't seem to quite get it all together. <laughs> Joseph is a Cardinals fan, so he says go Reds. <laughs> um, so this, Cedric Mullins, I don't know what the deal is with this guy. We found this in the last case, too. So that's obviously a base refractor, right? But it's not numbered. It doesn't have the 499 on it. And I don't know why it doesn't. But we found the exact same card in the last case, too. So I don't know why old Cedric isn't numbered, but he's not. There's Purple Shimmer, Grayson Rodriguez, Baltimore Orioles. 
I mean, well, I should have figured if I didn't cut the one above it, I wouldn't have cut the one below it, right? Diamond Dave says it's just a player variation. Well, all right then. Why wouldn't they number that, though? That's just annoying, isn't it? I think it is. I think, I think they should have just numbered that for us. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and that's what uh, Joe says, too. Both of you are like, yeah, it's a short print image variation. Well, see, you know, at least I recognized that it was something. I just didn't uh, quite have in my head exactly what it was. I should have, right? I don't know. I don't know why for some reason that didn't quite strike me. To 250, that is the purple Armenteros for the Oakland A's. Honestly, I'm surprised I remembered it anyway. You guys know I'm the worst about remembering what comes out of one case versus another, but I did remember that one. The Houston Astros, that is Brian Abreu. So it is a base refractor autograph. So it is numbered to 499 since it has our pretty little rainbow of colors. We like it. I like it anyway. You probably do too or you wouldn't have bid on it, right? That's how I look at it. So I think I can use the royal we there. Say we like it. Diamond Dave, you got a Chris Shaw like that earlier. I've only seen the Cedric Mullins so far, and I've seen him twice, um, but I haven't seen any others. And that is true, Joe. Most short prints are not numbered in Topps products. That is a fair point. I'm just used to most things in Bowman being numbered that are variations, but that is a valid point. The vast majority, maybe all of the short prints in Topps are not numbered, if I really think about it. So that's a fair point. You are looking for a Devers Gold, Jose Devers Gold. All right, we haven't seen any gold yet tonight, so we need to conjure ourselves up some gold, don't we? Get a little gold rush action going on tonight would be nice. Some orange too, I'd like to have both. Meanwhile, we do have another purple shimmer. It is headed to Toronto. Alejandro Kirk. And the Yankees, with our autograph out of this mini box, belonging to Nick Green. Yeah, I do like my Bowman. You guys know I like my Bowman Chrome, so I'm kind of... Uh, I'm glad we have a lot of it. We'll be opening this for a while because I have, um, what did I say the other day? Maybe 10 cases or so, a hobby and another four, five, six or something of HTA. Not quite a bit anyway. I like prospecting. I think it's fun. It's my favorite part. Um, so John is asking about if all the cards ship. So guys, it's like this. In this particular break, all the cards do ship, but that is not the case in every break. So I will tell you always, always, always check the listing description. And it will tell you any time that there is something other than all cards shipping. It is always going to tell you um, down in that same area where we list the date and time of the break and the name of the product and the quantity and all that. It's usually like in real big letters. It's blue or green. It's kind of in the middle. Um, that is where it will always tell you if something is out of the norm with the norm being all the cards shipping. So in this break, yes, all the cards do ship, but that is not always always the case so that's why i'm that's why i'm giving you the fair heads up there Bo nailer purple shimmer for the indians and a philly a little philadelphia philly and that is luis garcia autograph they are playing a double header today with the nationals i think the nats won the first game didn't they i'm not 100 percent sure of that but i think they did and they were losing the second game, but I don't know. 
what the final score was, how it ended up, but at one point it was like that. Why did I put some of the plastic and not all the plastic? I don't know. Baseball uh, regular season, of course, winding down. Just a few more days to go, and then we're going to be headed to the postseason. By the time we get to the postseason, I'm usually ready for football. Like, I kind of wish baseball postseason was in September so that then we could just rock on with football in October. Because it's a lot by the time you get all of it going. It's to 250 Incarnacion for the Mariners. Because you got college football, pro football. I mean, basketball is getting ready to start. We still got baseball. I mean, it's a lot. I would rather baseball wrap up in August and do postseason in September. But then again, they don't care what I think. Imagine that. The Diamondbacks. This is numbered to 99. It is a green parallel with Geraldo Perdomo. I know someone was looking for him the other night, and we didn't pull him out of the whole case. But at least we got him tonight. So far numbered, but hey, it's a start. Moses Gomez for the Tampa Bay Rays is our autograph out of that little mini box. Oh, the Phillies did get eliminated today. Okay. The Nats came back and took the lead in the Twilight game. Okay. So, yep. Bye-bye to the Phillies. No postseason for you and your bazillion dollar man and Bryce Harper. Dang lover, you need some Cardinals. All right, let's find you some Cardinals. Let's find you some St. Louis Cardinals. I think that sounds like a fine plan. There's usually Cardinals in here, too. We should be able to come across some, I would think. To 499 Tampa Bay Rays, there's Jesus Sanchez. Should be a pretty good little guy there. Still 499 if I didn't say that. The base refractor. An angel. We got a hit for your angels. You have Patrick Sandoval. So there you go, John. Now we got you got you plugging along there with your angels. Garth, you need Wander Franco. I would love to find you a Wander Franco. He's gonna be awfully good at least that's how it looks right now you never know these younger guys sometimes they start out hot and trail off and sometimes they start out like crap and then heat up but for the most part i think we're expecting wanda franco should be pretty good you were thinking that it's ironic that the last two big that the two big names in the last five years being trout and harper have not led their teams to anything well, Mike Trout, for the most part, hasn't had, like, a super supporting cast that is getting better, though. It definitely, they're starting to, you know, put in some pieces around him. So, I think that will change. And really, the Phillies, you know, they're in pretty good shape. They just didn't quite get it done this year. But I think the Phillies will be fine. They've got some good young guys, too. So our first gold of the night is also a shimmer, and it is the Indians with Sam Hint Hintages or Hinges or maybe none of the above, but it is numbered to 50, and I definitely pronounced Sam right. <laughs> so, yay, I get, I get at least one name pronounced right, I'm pretty certain. So we will... Uh, We'll see. You guys know. Well, some of you may be new and don't know, but I'm horrible with pronouncing names. Just the worst. Here comes a purple shimmer for the Dodgers. You got a little Kiebert Ruiz headed your way. So, of course, uh, again, purple are not numbered. Our first autograph on a 
color parallel tonight, isn't it? I think it is. This is blue to 150, Kansas City Royals with Carlos Hernandez. I like it. Of course, the Royals uh, have one of their, well, their single-A uh, farm team is, is here in Lexington, the Lexington Legends. Used to be an Astros affiliate. In fact, Jose Altuve came up through here, but now it's uh, for the last several years been a Royals affiliate. But since it's single A, I have a hard time kind of getting into it. I don't know. I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. They've been really good too, uh, last season and this season. Been quite good. So that just tells you Kansas City Royals got some good stuff in the pipeline. We have another gold coming up. This one is the Texas Rangers. It's also going to be numbered 250, being that it is gold, and it is Tejeda. So the Rangers with Anderson Tejeda to 50. So we go from no gold to two gold out right away. And the Dodgers base autograph refractor to 499 Edwin Yasita. So got the Dodgers on the map. You said the Reds rolled over for the Brewers. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, t I told you probably the Reds were going to lose because, I mean, the Reds aren't really playing for anything at this point. I mean, I guess they are playing out of a sense of, you know, let's not get our butts whipped, but they're not really playing for anything. The Brewers still are, you know. The Brewers need the wins. I think that if they win tomorrow night in Cincinnati, don't they clinch the Brewers if they win tomorrow night? I think they do. I wouldn't 100% swear to that, but... I kind of think they might. Nick Senzel, he had some surgery today to 499, a base refractor for my Cincinnati Reds. They say it was routine and it all went well, so that's always good. Joey Gallo, Green Rangers to 99. Nick, of course... Up and down, really. Had, had a really good stretch and then a really bad stretch. And then, of course, ended up with the with the torn labrum and surgery to finish things off. To $4.99 for the Orioles, it's Grayson Rodriguez. But Nick, in general, has had a ton of injuries, hasn't he? And then the weird stuff, like vertigo, and he's had a hard way to go. Texas Rangers and Eli White autograph is all yours. The Pirates um, beat the Cubs 7-1. to one. Good grief. Well, of course, the Cubs are out of it anyway, but at this point. But the Cubs just kind of fell apart late. They were... I mean, they had stretches where they were kind of marginal, and they had stretches where they were good, and then they had some stretches where they were really bad. I guess most teams go through that at some point over the season, because it is a rather long season. But yeah, the Cubs just kind of really, as they say in horse racing, spit out the bit um, down the stretch. I mean, had some injuries too, though, in fairness. To 499, that is a base refractor for Lourdes Griel Jr. and Toronto. Toronto Blue Jays. Man, I can't wait. Speaking of the Blue Jays, I can't wait for the 2020 stuff to get here because it's got to have Bo Bichette rookie cards in it, and I like Bo Bichette. So I'm kind of jazzed about that. A purple shimmer rangers hands Krause. But I would say the bidding is going to be fierce um, for the Blue Jays, so I don't know how often I'm gonna end up with them. Quentin Torres Costa. 
Because, you know, once they're up and established, you can't ever get them as inexpensively as, as you can in products like this, where they're just starting to come up through the system. That's why we like prospecting, or why I do, anyway. It's like playing the stock market. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're cutting a path through it. There's our other Arizona Fall League alumni, Nolan Arenado, for the Rockies. Still on the Rockies. A lot of times those alumni, you know, you can look back and be like, oh, yeah, I forgot they played for XYZ, but he still plays for the Rockies. I see a blue Kansas City Royal again. Nick Prado to 150. And the Angels get another hit. How about that? The Angels with a pair already. And Levan or Livan or Levan Soto. Meanwhile, Stang Lover's going, all right, where are my Cardinals? I know you are. You didn't have to type it in there, ma'am, but I know you're thinking it. I'm trying. I'm trying to conjure them up. And some Cubs. we got to conjure them up, too. Find little Nico in here, maybe. There's a cardinal. It's not autographed, but we've got you on the right track. Dakota Hudson purple to 250. I know, Diamond Dave, you're right. Besides your Braves, I mean, we did get the one right off the bat with the uh, Colby, but that is the only Braves we've seen too, isn't it? To 499, a base refractor, DJ Stewart. Yeah, we do need to get the. Mojo fired up for the Braves as well, don't we? The Angels on a little bit of a roll. This is uh, Joe Adele. That kid looks to be the real deal, too. To 499, a base refractor. A little purple for the Rangers. To 250, you've got a Tyler Phillips autograph headed your way. If you've got the Rangers tonight. Texas in action. <laughs> Eric, you can taste the Nico. I know. Wouldn't that be sweet? I like that kid. I do like him. And he's been looking, I mean, good, you know, in his, in his little uh, time up. Joseph said, why not make them all autographed? <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Well, they do if you open Bowman Chrome uh, Jumbos, also known as HTAs. In that particular product, it is all hits and no base, but that's one of the few products that's all hits and no base. I mean, I guess there are, you know, what, five star and I mean, there are no, not all five star is, is it? There are some that are all hits. To four ninety nine, Brian Anderson and the Marlins. But, um, yeah, most of the time they give us base cards, too. Set builders would probably be pretty mad if we did away with all their base cards and everything. The Milwaukee Brewers, that is Purple Shimmer with Bryce Terang. The Nationals get on board here to 499 a base refractor autograph with Augustine oh we're closing in on it here we still got a few left though we've got seven mini boxes left so three and a half master boxes that's the equivalent of huh?
So yeah, Sunday night's going to be an all memorabilia night. I don't know. Some of you guys, uh, like Stang Lover, I know you like the big 16 by 20 photographs and stuff that can come out of Leaf Memorabilia Treasury, but I just decided Sunday should just be all about memorabilia, so I think it'll be kind of fun. We're going to do the, a couple of autographed baseball jerseys, then the case of autographed football jerseys, and the case of full-size football helmets, and then uh, the Leaf Memorabilia Treasury all on Sunday night. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I think that'll be fun. Because I've had that memorabilia treasury here for well, probably a couple months. I just needed to find time to break it, really. Dalton Varsho to 250 for the Diamondbacks. Sometimes I like to do little theme nights. And the Red Sox get themselves an autograph for Danny Diaz, or of Danny Diaz, I guess I should say. And just as a reminder for anybody that jumped in late after we finish Bowman Chrome, we will head into our Origins football. I will double check and see if any of the wayward teams got paid in the interim. And if they did not, uh, right now Joe has the, has the uh, bid on the Giants and somebody else has the bid on the Packers at 20 back up in the thread there, so... Stanglover, you bought an 8x10 Easton Stick Contenders Draft Autograph using Panini Points. Oh, hey, so you finally got those points put to some use. All right, that's cool. To $4.99, Jose Altuve for the Astros, a base refractor. You know, I myself have some points laying around here. I don't even tend to redeem them into my account unless I'm ready to get something, and I don't even know where mine are, truthfully. To $4.99, that is Israel Pineda for the Nationals with a base refractor. And I haven't gotten any in a while anyway myself, so whatever I have, I've got to find one of these days. Our hit in here is a redemption right there. And as is customary with the way I do these things... It's going to sit right there, face down, up here in housekeeping, and at the very end of this break, we'll flip it over, find out who's on the other side, along with any other redemptions that we might pull in the interim, and then we'll roll over to that TOPS website and put their checklist up on the screen so we can make sure that uh, we have our team right on it. And I do that no matter who it is. So even if it, we turn it over and it says... Fernando Tatis Jr. and the whole world knows us the Padres, I will still go to the TOPS website, put it up on the screen so that everybody can see it's the Padres. That's just how we roll around here. The manufacturer's checklist is available. An atomic refractor for Arizona Fall League. It is numbered to 150, and that is Ronaldo Hernandez for the Tampa Bay Rays. Those uh, have been coming out at one per case. I'm assuming that is going to be the norm tonight as well. I see a blue Yankee in the offing here. Number to 150, you have uh, Luis Gill for the Yankees. The Washington Nationals, you got another Augustine. Didn't we hit one for you a minute ago? I want to say we did. Now you got another one. You got a bookend. If you've got the Nats tonight, an error and a spare, so to speak. Um, Joseph wants to know if all the redemptions in here are rookies rather than prospects. You know what? I don't know. We haven't pulled a lot of redemptions out of here, so I haven't look to even see who all the redemption possibilities are so i don't know if it's if they're limited to just if there are rookies and prospects or just prospects or just rookies i mean it's probably a mix of the two would be my guess but i don't know desiree says alonso tatis and guerrero are the three redemptions uh that you have been seeing okay
<laughs> Diamond Dave says his Braves are pulling like they're playing tonight. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Desiree said you saw um, an Alonso redemption. You know, we pulled a base. Uh, well, actually, I take that back. It was the case hit, I guess. But we pulled a live Alonso autograph out of one of these cases, didn't we? I'm 99% sure we did. To 150, that is the Diamondbacks with your pitcher, John Duplantier, blue parallel. So he does, I'm pretty sure, have some live stuff in this product, but it sounds like he's got redemptions too. To 499, base refractor, Micker Adolfo. And the Diamondbacks with Perdomo. Hey, hey. Now, if you got the D-backs, that might very well be who you're looking for right there. Geraldo uh, Perdomo. And I stacked him in the wrong spot. And here are the Phillies with a purple shimmer unnumbered for Francisco Morales. We're down to three mini boxes. So we've got three hits left to get some mojo fired upon. Dang, the Braves are down six to one. Good grief. <laughs> what? Did they just decide, okay, well, we've clinched, so we don't really care how we play for the rest of the regular season? That's what it sounds like. <laughs> They're just like, ah, eh, pass. Hard pass. We don't want to play tonight. <laughs> Oh, Joe, I have a ton of empty boxes on the floor. You can hear them hitting, right? Yeah. I mean, all this stuff, I just, all these wrappers and boxes and everything, they just get tossed in the floor here next to me. And then um, after the break, of course, I get all of the cards and top loaders and get all of them put away. And then I start upon the task of getting all the recycling broken down and taken out and all the trash out and all that so it's a little process it takes a little while after the break but depending on what we open sometimes the pile is pretty deep over there to 99 the cardinals and austin warner with a green shimmer parallel for staying lover and his st louis cardinals tonight Good grief. The Nationals are on a run. There's uh, Pineda, and I think that's a bookend for him, if I remember correctly. Which I wouldn't swear that I do, but I think it is a bookend for him. Um, Billy, you've seen a Jonathan Machado redemption and a Tatis Jr. redemption. Okay, so that gives us some idea of what we might be coming across there. Diamond Dave is kind of, I'm paraphrasing, but I believe what you're saying is, wow, I can't believe how many nationals are coming out. <laughs> You just typed one word, but I'm pretty sure that that's what that one word meant. Oh, well, that would be cool, Stang Lover, if Warner was at the uh, Cardinals winter warm-up and you could get it signed. That would be... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Looky, 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 kids. It's an Eloy to five. Red for the White Sox. Dang, it's next to last box. Mojo strikes on that one. That is a sweet, sweet little hit for the White Sox. Eloy to five is nice. I mean, I know it's not signed, but I don't care that it's not signed. That's a really nice hit. Purple Shimmer Astros. Corbin Martin. White Sox have been pretty quiet tonight, too, so good for them. Well, why not just let the rich get richer? Another one for the Texas Rangers. This is uh, Mason Englert or something somewhat related to that, possibly, maybe, or not. All right, we have got one mini box left. So technically, we were on Last Box Mojo when we opened that last one, if we considered it as a master box, because there were two minis to a master. But this is, this is truly where we're going to call it, because this is the last one that's coming out of the plastic tonight. So we're going right here uh, to call out a little Last Box Mojo. 
Diamond Dave, you were censoring it. <laughs> I know, but I knew what you meant. I knew where you were going there. I could feel it. Garth, you're hoping the redemption is a Wander Franco. Well, that would be nice. And Joe says he wants to buy that uh, Eloy to five for whoever has the White Sox. So if you have the White Sox and you're not in chat, uh, hey, you might want to sign in if you're watching live. Because if you want to sell it, I don't know if it's personal collection or selling. But uh, if you want to sell it, you got somebody interested in it already. So, because that is... Uh, a sweet, sweet little hit with Eloy to five. All right, who's our last autograph? Well, before we get there, we have uh, a base refractor to 499 for the Orioles with Ryan McKenna. Now let's pull the rest of the base around and be really mean and make you wait. Well, I accidentally pulled it, so you saw who it was. <laughs> I was just trying to get the base, but uh, I tipped my hand a little. I tipped my pitch. So the Yankees have our last autograph that is live in the product, and that is Michael King. So that means we've got a redemption left to flip over, which I'm going to do here in one hot little second. And then after we flip over the redemption, uh, we are going to recap our hits for anybody who perhaps uh, joined late, or maybe you just want to get another look at what's headed out to you. We'll do a quick little uh, buzz through some recap stuff. But first things first, here we go. It is Pete Alonso. Boom! And it's gold. Oh, 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 sweet. Sweet, man. Oh, and you know the Mets were just sitting there going, man, this break blows. I didn't get anything. And look at that. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Pete Alonso redemption. Oh, I love Bowman. Um, but we do have to put it up on the screen, even though the whole world knows it's Mets, because I know you don't have to say it, but that's just how I do it. And I do it the same way every time. So you just got to live with it here for a minute. Meanwhile, let me get up the Bowman Chrome checklist here. And we're going to scroll on down here to our rookie autographs. Where are you, rookie autographs? I know you're here. Oh, come on, man. Alumni autographs, not prospects. I need rookie autographs. Ah, here we go. All right. Pete Alonso, New York Mets, just as we expected, but now all official-like because it's up there on the screen from tops. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's um, recap. All right. To 150, we have an atomic refractor for the Tampa Bay Rays. We have uh, our two Arizona Fall League alumni. They're not numbered, but because they only tend to come out twice per case, I generally recap them. This is all uh, purple shimmer, none of it is numbered because purple shimmers are not numbered in here, but I did set them aside along with one that I, uh, is the short print of, uh, Cedric Mullins that isn't numbered, but it's an image variation short print, which you guys, uh, helpfully reminded me of, so thank you all for that. Now, let's take a look at what is numbered, but not autographed. So base refractors that look like this are all numbered to 499. This beautiful baby here is red and numbered to five for Eloy and the White Sox. And that is just a thing of beauty right there. Then when we have green, this one's a shimmer, but whether it's a shimmer or whether it's not, the green are going to be to 99. The blue are going to be to 150. The purple that are, you know, not shimmer, the purple in this stack, in other words, are to 250. In a minute, we're going to get to some gold, and the gold are to 50. A pair of them, one Indian, one Ranger. And then everything else is our blue and purple and green and base refractors and like that. Now comes our big stack of hits. Big stack of hits. 
Diamond Dave says, oh, there's no need to see the recap. Oh, man, I'm sorry. And Desiree said, you had two teams and uh, didn't do very well either. And Stang Lover is sad because he didn't get any Cardinals autographs. And he says it's me. He says whenever he has Cardinals with me, he doesn't do well. When he doesn't buy Cardinals with me, they do well. But I don't know. I don't think it's that. But me, I don't know. Chrome Rookie Autograph Gold Refractor Parallel. Pete Alonso in the Mets. That's going to be to 50 when that shows up at your house. From tops, I mean. The Yankees, Rangers, Nationals, Diamondbacks with Perdomo, the Nationals again, the Red Sox, Nationals uh, to 499 with that, Augustine, the Rangers to 250, the Angels, Brewers, and Rangers, we're saying Rangers a lot, aren't we? The Dodgers to 499 with Yasita, the Royals to 150, Hernandez, the Angels, the Rays, the Phillies, the Yankees, Astros to 499 with Abreu, Indians, Brewers, A's, Red Sox. Oh, you did have one. You did have a Cardinal Stang lover. What are you carrying on about? It was the. I thought we had a Brave earlier, though, for real. Did we not have a Brave earlier? I thought we did. I told Diamond Dave he thought we had a Brave. I thought we did have a Brave. Did we not have a Brave? Did I just stack him in the wrong place? I don't know. Now I'm confused. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. Okay, they're all there. I really did. I thought we had. Didn't we have a Brave? I don't know. Anyway, see, Stang Lover, you were smack talking me, man, saying I was not ever having any luck for you. And then look at that. You did have one. Mm hmm. Yeah, you do have to take it back. <laughs> That's right, by golly. Okay, so um, I'm going to let you look at some spreadsheet information here for a minute, for a hot second, while I check and see what the status is on paid and unpaid things and see if we need what what needs to go where so let's just see how things sit um looks like one of our teams got paid which was the packers and of course the giants didn't and the jags didn't so the giants uh were with joe and joe are you still here and good to go with the giants and if, um, did, I don't think, did anybody have any, uh, claim on the Jags? I want to say no. If somebody wants the Jags, um, let me know. Now would be the time to speak up. And if not, we'll have to, uh, to figure out, uh, where they go or what happens to them. But this again is origins that we're talking about. So, um, I'm just kind of waiting here for everybody to chime in so joe you've got the giants awesome and does anybody want the jags they doesn't you know the last bid was 41 dollars, but obviously at this point in the night just make an offer if you want them anybody so um here's what you need to know this stuff that we just opened and what we're about to open right now has a saturday projected shipping date however there's a caveat, an asterisk, if you will. We had a death in the family today. I don't yet know what the arrangements are going to be, so I don't know um, what to project. So I'm projecting for Saturday, but please understand that they may not get out Saturday. It could be Monday, uh, just depending on how these arrangements fall, or maybe I'm able to get them out ahead of time. I don't really know. So just please take that with a grain of salt and uh, know that, I will do the best I can on it. Now I'm going to bring you back to me. And also, by the way, in Origins, if you happen to get skunked in this break, I hope nobody does. But if somebody does and you don't pull a base card or anything, you will still get a package in the mail and it will have consolation card or cards in it. Now I'm going to bring you guys back to me for a minute. I'm going to update the spreadsheet here to reflect that Joe is picking up the Giants. And... Um, Sounds like nobody wants the Jags, so they are um, going to just be 
floating out there in space. So let's get that done. And just give me a second here to get this squared away. Oh, Joe, I guess I need to type in my info for you, don't I? I'm sorry about that, man. I'm distracted tonight a bit. I'm not uh, I'm not 100% on my game tonight, guys. I apologize. Um, this is, Joe, the email address for you to shoot over PayPal for the Giants. While you're working on that, I'm going to get uh, this caught up here for you. And I'm almost there. I'm almost done, kids. I'm almost done. All right. There. I think we've got that done. So this is what it is. It is a 16-box case of Origins Football. And that is a full case. This is break number three. We haven't broken it in a while because I broke a couple when it first came out and then I stashed a few. Oh, I'm crafty like that. And of course, uh, everything ended tonight on eBay, Tuesday night, the 24th of September. Same format that you're accustomed to with me, which is team names on one side and the eBay user ID of the winning bidder across from each team. Uh, of course, the Jags noted there as unpaid. And then, of course, the Giants also unpaid. But Joe was kind enough to step in and pick up the Giants, which is very much appreciated. Thank you, Joe. I hope we pull, like, a bunch of stuff for you tonight and make that worth your while because I very much appreciate your willingness to uh, jump in there and pick that up. So thanks again for that one, man. All right. Let me do one little thing here. I got to get uh, something closed out on eBay, which I almost forgot to do. <laughs> so give me one hot second to get that done. And um, then we're going to be good to go here in just a sec. Oh, boy. All right. So I think we are now... Wait a minute, though. Why did it tell me that? Well, that's all right. I'll fix it later. It's not like they're going to suddenly turn around and pay for the Giants. <laughs> so, <laughs> I tried to do what I needed to do, and it gave me a weird message. And I thought, well, I'll deal with it later. So, Origins. Let's rock it out. Let's find some awesome stuff in here. I've kind of learned over the years that I... I, I usually open my Origins too fast because I really like Origins and I have a tendency to get it and open it all up immediately and then when we get a couple months into the season or sometimes in this case like three weeks into the season, I'm always thinking, man, why didn't I save any Origins because I really wish I had because, you know, so-and-so is doing great or whatever. So this year, I just made myself a little mental note. And I stashed a couple of cases back out of my line of vision so that I wouldn't be ultra tempted to open them. And so then we get to have some fun now. So this is a one pack per box product. And I'm going to go ahead and get all of the packs out of here. Because that way, once we get rolling, we can just... Go right on with it. No more delayed gratification. We can just rip and go. My favorite way. Rip and go. Oh, I had to cut all that already, but apparently I hadn't. One of these days, I'm going to have to change the blade on that knife. <laughs> Not really as sharp as it should be, but I'm kind of afraid to as well, because I can just imagine if I, when I change it out and it's a brand new blade, I'll do something stupid and like, you know, take a chunk out of myself or something. That'd be all I need. 
I wouldn't even so much mind taking the chunk out of myself, but if I did it while, while we had cards on the table, good lord, what if you like bled on them or something? So I don't know. I've been afraid to change the knife out for that reason. More information than you needed, I realize, but hey, we're just passing the time anyway while I'm getting all this out, so what the heck. May as well do a little TMI in there, right? Carl! Hi, Carl! Steelers and Seahawks, huh? Pittsburgh. Well, how do you think we're going to roll with Mason? I thought he looked pretty good. I mean, we lost, but it wasn't entirely on him that we lost. I actually thought he had pretty good, uh, I thought he had pretty good showing for his first official NFL start. I mean, obviously, he took over partway through when Ben got hurt in the other game, but... His first start was uh, this past weekend. I thought he looked pretty good, so I don't know. Maybe not all hope is lost for the season. Elias is wishing everybody good luck. And Jeffrey, you've got the Ravens. You know, the Ravens have hit a lot out of almost every product this year. Your Ravens rookie class comes out really pretty often out of most things so i would imagine we'll find you some ravens i mean you never know out of any given box or whatever but uh i think probably we'll find you some ravens i hope we will i hope we find something for everybody that would be the ideal circumstance All right, here we go with the little origins. All right, we have Antonio Brown to 299. Wouldn't it figure you see him first? And uh, that's the Oakland Raiders. Give me one second. I forgot to get that size card sleeve out. I had switched out to the uh, thicker ones. I forgot that we would have some base uh, numbered parallels and things in here. So, little AB there. And... Next up is Jameis Winston for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That one numbered to 175. Then we've got some base for the Bears and the Colts. And now we have a Barry Sanders for the Lions. And that's pretty flipping cool. The card design. It's numbered to... 25. It's a little tiny swatch. Like, I wish they would given us a bigger swatch, but I like the cool the uh, cool card design. I do like it. Looks like we got some minor uh, corner issues down there, bottom left and right. This is the Raiders with Hunter Renfro, numbered to 99. And then we have Daryl Henderson, the rookie for the Rams, out next. And Daryl, I guess, is not numbered. But still, good hit, right? I mean, you like to get hit with relic and autograph, numbered or not. Many of these will have some of these minor edge and corner issues. Mostly they're noticeable on the back. Um, and not all of them will have it, but many of them will, unfortunately. Baker Mayfield to 299 for the Browns. And that is numbered to 99, Melvin Gordon. See, it's another example of it down there. Chargers. Just suffice to say, you can expect to see some of that kind of throughout tonight. Noah Fant and the Broncos to 25. A little tricolor relic there for Denver. And it's a Daryl Henderson kind of night. We're two boxes in. We're two Daryl Henderson autographs in. So the Rams have already had a happy night. Here comes A.J. Brown for the Titans. Ooh, and me hitting the tripod. Sorry. Um, that is Relic and Autograph numbered to 75. Little RPA action for the Titans. Carl, you think Mason's going to be good for the team? I do too. I mean, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be all right. He's going to have growing pains, but you know what? That's all right. I'm okay with that. Got to learn sometime. Uh, for sure, you do. So, may as well get on with it. Samari Cooper. 
for the Dallas Cowboys. That is numbered to 299. And then we've got a little James Connor here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And James is numbered to 99. And we have some base for the Steelers and the Chargers. And the Redskins are on tap with Bryce Love. And that's a big patch. And they gave us all one color, which I hate when they do. It's to 99. Oh, look at this. You're being repaid, man. Oh, the mojo. The mojo, Joe. It's coming for you. Uh, yeah, the mojo, comma, Joe. Um, a few little minor corner things there, but nothing too outrageous. As your man, Daniel Jones, coming out early for the Giants, helping repay Joe for his kindness and picking up that unpaid team. And then we've got a redemption. You know what happens to them, right? They sit right up here in the housekeeping area. They stay face down until the end of the break. And then we flip them over, check them all out at once, and then we'll roll over to the Panini website and find out what, if anything, they are numbered to. To 175, how about Mike Evans in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Then we have Drew Brees and the Saints. Another injury casualty early in the season to 299 for Drew Brees. Some base for the 49ers and the Packers. Josh Jacobs coming for the Raiders. And Josh is a two-color relic to 199. Here come the Pittsburgh Steelers. Deontay Johnson got a lot more involved this past week. Looking for bigger things from him. And Irv Smith Jr. and the Vikings is our RPA. And that is a sticker on that one. Some of these are stickers. Some of these are hard signed. That particular one was a sticker. I think we're about to have a one of one in here. Pretty sure I just saw a shiny little uh, back of a 101. Oh, our base, I didn't read it off, did I? But our base were Philip Lindsay of the Broncos and then uh, Godwin for the Buccaneers. I got excited by the shiny uh, one of one. Hakeem Butler, Arizona Cardinals to 175. Another Irv Smith Jr. Imagine that. Once again, we got some lower uh, corner imperfections down there. This one is hard signed. The other one, you would think, wouldn't you, logically, that the RPA would have been the hard signed one, but anyway, it's not. Andy Isabella, Arizona Cardinals. And a base for Calvin Ridley. Well, it's a base numbered for Calvin Ridley and the Falcons, numbered to 299. And then our one of one, it is a printing plate for the Jets with Le'Veon Bell. How about that? Le'Veon Bell, one of one. Huh. Very nice, very nice. Stang Lover, you said you like it when folks bid big to win something and then don't pay when it bids up. Especially big feedback, folks. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is another one of those kind of, oh, I didn't really know how much I bid kind of deals, which, I mean, maybe. I don't know. But I just know I've never done a bid on eBay that doesn't show me and have me confirm and show me my bid amount at least once before I confirm it. So, I don't know. And then, of course, there's always the matter of just, what, like, where's your personal integrity, too, right? Like, you bid it, so whether you meant to bid one thing and you bid another or not, where's your integrity? Why don't you just pay for it? That's kind of my thing. Because if I did that, I mean, I would pay for it. Because it would be my mistake. And I would pay for it because it was my mistake. It's the 299 Derrick Henry and the Titans. But, you know, a lot of people are not like that. And then the underbidder did not want it. I had already reached out to the underbidder and they didn't want it. Andy Dalton to 175. 
which I was not surprised about because I didn't know the underbitter. And usually, you know, if they're not known to me and they have kind of low feedback, you figure, yeah, you got a 20% chance they would want it, you know. All right, Darius Slayton, another one for the Giants. That is numbered to 99. Well, Stangler, we had a, we had a hit for your Titans already too, though. You saw that, right? Or were you were you you coming and telling me again? I'm not pulling you anything when I am. I am. I pulled you one already. Jarrett Stidham, a nice one for the Patriots. I'm just giving you a hard time, Stang Lover. You know I don't mean any harm. Nicole Hardman Jr., Kansas City Chiefs. I only joke with you because I know I can, man. We go way back. Stang Lover's been bidding with me for several years. We go way back. Yeah, Joe, somebody jumped in there between you and the you and the person who ended up winning it. There was another person in between the two of you, and that person in between the two of you is somebody, as I said, that I didn't know. I did reach out to them, and they did answer me back and say they didn't, you know, want it anymore, but um, I didn't know who they were. Devontae Parker to 175. And then you've got Derek Carr for the Raiders to 299. Well, at least you ended up with them. So I'm glad you ended up with them, Joe. It worked out. Uh, it worked out all right. And you've had a couple nice hits. So uh, all's well that ends well, right? Then we have Jarrett Stidham again for the Patriots, a relic to 175. And then there's J.J. Arcega Whiteside for the Eagles. Terry McLaurin is our RPA for the Redskins. So the Skins have a couple already tonight. It's to 49. Oh, Stang Lover, you're watching four breaks at once. Oh, what it is to be young. I can barely concentrate on the one. <laughs> I used to be able to watch multiples at once, but I don't do that too well anymore. Numbered to 99, DeAndre Hopkins and the Texans. Numbered to 299, that one heads to the Panthers with Luke Keckley, Keckley whatever. All right, next up. We have uh, something that looks interesting to me because there's two people on it, Edgerin James and Naheem Hines. It's for the Colts. What we got on the other side? Dual relics. Huh. Origins of greatness. It's to 49. I really don't remember seeing one of those before. We may have pulled one before, but, you know, it has been a while since I've opened this, so I don't remember it if we did. Same deal, guys. Uh, corners imperfect a little. Noah Fant and the Broncos. RPA, another one for the Giants. Darius Slayton. Giants are racking it up for you, Joe. They're trying to uh, repay your kindness for uh, picking up the Giants here in, on second chance. Joe, we need to find you a Murray. You got the Cardinals in here too? All right. We'll work on Kyler next then. Number to 175, there is another Antonio Brown for the Raiders. To 299, there's Melvin Gordon and the Chargers. Here comes some base. Cardinals and Lions. Another Patriot, Damian Harris. And that is a relic to 199. Three colors, barely. Paris Campbell, autograph for the Colts. Paris is numbered to 25, low number. Here comes a Raven. We finally got around to getting a Raven for you, didn't we? Miles Boykin is the RPA for the Ravens. Ravens. 
No, Stang Lover, we got you um, A.J. Brown pretty early on. So you definitely, um, you definitely have, I think it was the RPA, wasn't it? But we'll recap it. But you definitely, you're, you're live already with your Titans. You've got something already, for sure. Pretty sure. I shouldn't say for sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> Larry Fitzgerald, 175. You know how my mind goes. Matt Ryan and the Falcons. Matt Ryan is to 299. I've got a little base. I see a Cardinal. I see it being Kyler Murray, but we may be in the section where it's a relic and not an autograph. Yeah, but it's, uh, you know, a nice looking relic, and it is numbered to 49, so it could be worse. And then we got you an autograph behind it of Hakeem Butler. And Hakeem is numbered to 49. TJ Hawkinson for the Lions. RPA. Carl, you said what's going on with what? What's going on with in regard to what? Just in general? <laughs> what's going on? Or you mean like you left for a little while and you're coming back and you're saying, hey, what's up? That is Luke Geikley to 199 for the Panthers. Number to 25, there's Lamar Jackson for the Ravens. Oh, Joe, you've got Detroit, too? All right, then. You're doing all right tonight. You're hanging in there. Here comes another one for Stang Lovers Titans, A.J. Brown. This one's probably relic only. Number to 99. Usually you can tell based on where they are in the pack. Another Terry McLaurin. Got, again, some corner imperfections, uh, as most of these have, for the Redskins. Miles Sanders and the Eagles, our RPA Oh, Carl, you said, um, oh, you lost us for a second. Oh, did anybody else lose the signal? I don't know. On my side, it didn't appear to drop out. Um, it appeared to be, you know, solid all the way through for me. So I don't know, Carl, um, if that affected anybody else or not. Corey Davis, Titans to 175. Sometimes if you're on a mobile device, it, they just, I don't know, it happens to me. I, you know, I move in a different spot or I don't know, it gets a little hiccup of some sort sometimes. Derek Carr and the Raiders to 299. Some base uh, for the Cardinals and the Ravens. Will Greer and the Panthers. <laughs> Stang lover now. I know that's not right, man. <laughs> Will Greer to 199, two-color relic. Another Patriot, Damian Harris, autograph. Corners again. And Damian Harris is numbered to 99. And our RPA, once again, going to head to the Eagles. This one, J.J.R. Sega Whiteside. And this one to 99 heads to the Cowboys. It is Demarcus Lawrence. Then numbered to 299, you have a little Larry Fitzgerald for the Arizona Cardinals. We have some base here for the Bears and the Texans. Here comes a Kansas City Chief relic for Nicole Hardman Jr. Uh, I'd say lower right corner on that has a minor little imperfection. And it is numbered to 99. Comes another New York Giant. It has been a Giants kind of case. There's a Darius Slayton again. And here comes a Will Greer RPA for the Panthers. Numbered to 99. All right, Matt Ryan, Falcons. To 299. The Redskins to 175 with Josh Norman. Some base 
and that would be the Falcons and the Packers. Vinny Snell Jr. Relic for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> right as Carl says, man, this is a lousy case for the Steelers. Well, we at least got you this uh, to 99. Actually, I like the Deontay Johnson, I have to tell you. I think the kid's going to end up being pretty good um, in the long run. So I'm not sad about the Deontay Johnson hit. You know, Steelers being my team and all, but. TJ Hawkinson, Lions. That's a nice one. I wish that were numbered, but still a nice one. And we have a Ravens RPA for Justice Hill. So the Ravens continue to pull well out of most products this year. That one numbered to 99. All right. Closing in on it here. Jay Ajayi to 299 Eagles. And then we have Julio Jones for the Falcons to 175. Some base. And another Terry McLaurin for the Redskins, who meanwhile are just going, can I please have Dwayne Haskins and not Terry McLaurin? I know. It's all been McLaurin, though, hasn't it? To 99. Alexander Madison for the Vikings. Um, again, both lower corners less than perfect. Oh, baby, there it is. Joe, 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 look what we got, man. We got you a Kyler Murray RPA. And it's a sticker, which kind of I'm bummed about, but it's numbered to 25. So, right? <laughs> You're having a good night after all, aren't you? It is all kind of flowing your way right now. And here we are at a last box mojo kind of sitch. I saved this pack for last because it felt, when I picked it up, like it might have a little booklet in it. Now, whether or not it does, uh, we'll find out in a minute. But when I picked it up originally, unboxed, you know, taking it out of the box, felt like a booklet to me. So we're about to find out. Carson Wentz to 299 Eagles. Chargers to 10 with Joey Bosa. Some base here for the Saints and the Jags. And a DK Metcalf, so the Seahawks aren't going to get blanked anyway. And that is numbered to 75. We do have a booklet, and we have a second redemption. So we've got two redemptions left to bring someone some good luck. And then we've got this booklet. Of course, it's going to be hard to top that very first booklet. Wasn't that out of the first case where we had the booklet that had, like, all the signatures? I don't even remember how many it had on it, like 10 or 12 or something, a bunch of the rookies. It was pretty sweet. This is a six-star signature. Oh, so right as I say it, it's going to be hard to top. We're going to be close. This is number 10. Oh, pretty. Our other one was quarterbacks. These are position players. We have the Chiefs and Nicole Hardman Jr., J.J. Arcega Whiteside for the Eagles, D.K. Metcalf and the Seahawks, Daryl Henderson for the Rams, Devin Singletary for the Bills, and David Montgomery for the Bears. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I like it so much. Okay. So, here's how that is going to work. You got six signatures on it. You have to own 51% or more to take it outright. So, that means someone's got to have four of the six signatures belonging to them before they could take it outright. If nobody has 51% or more... Then we're going to go to random.org with it, and I will type it in in the order you see it there. So it would be typed in as Chiefs, Eagles, Seahawks, Rams, Bills, Bears. Then I would do random three different times. The first two would not count. It will only be the third and final random that determines where that goes. But that's going to sit there for a hot second because we have some redemptions to look at first. One of them is David Montgomery, rookie jumbo patch autographs turquoise. So David Montgomery is the Bears. And turquoise, I can't really remember what it's going to be number two, but we'll find out when we go to the Panini website here in a minute. 
And our other redemption is Paris Campbell. That is the Colts rookie jumbo patch autographs. Although we had one Paris Campbell that was live, didn't we, in here? Pretty sure. And then we have that one that's a redemption. So, huh, what are you going to do? I guess he got busy before he finished them. I don't know. All right, let's get over here. Um, I'm over here, but I guess I better bring you with me, hadn't I? Making things a little easier. All right, Rookie Jumbo Patch Autographs Turquoise. I need to find. Um, wait a minute, what did I say it is? Rookie Jumbo <laughs> Patch Autographs Turquoise. Where are you? There you are. Card number 111 should be David Montgomery, and it is, and it's numbered to 25. So nicely done. Chicago Bears coming out there at the end. Big. Then the Colts and Paris Campbell. We need to just go to rookie jumbo patch autographs. No turquoise on the end of this one. Um, card number 115. Ah, la, 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 la. Where are we? Paris Campbell, Colts. Apparently that one's not going to be numbered, so it's an open edition, but it does verify, of course, there that it's the Colts. Now we need to go to our next order of business, which is going to be our little six signature booklet up there. We got to see if anybody has four of the six belonging to one person. So the Kansas City Chiefs, that's Baxter 11342. Philadelphia Eagles, that's Josh U158796. The Seahawks, 1948 Sports. The Rams, Ben9153, so nobody's going to have them all, but we'll go ahead and look at the, these other two anyway. The Buffalo Bills, that's uh, GLBU39, and then our Chicago Bears, Cool Cards 30. So we've got all different team owners the whole way around. So you know what that means. Uh, one person's going to be happy, and five people are going to be heartbroken here in a minute. But it is time to give away our little booklet using random.org. All right, so we got Kansas City in there. Um, the Eagles, did I just hit the wrong thing? I did, didn't I? The Eagles in second. Then I've got Seahawks and Rams. Bills and Bears. Oh, wait a minute. I did not hit... Uh, enter apparently at the wrong thing all right so kansas city chiefs the eagles the seahawks the rams the bills the bears all in there all six once again it's the third random that will make the determination so the first two are not going to count good luck to these six teams here we go ignore the first one ignore the second one here comes the third and final three times our date and time stamp it goes to the rams all right, so the Los Angeles Rams get this incredibly cool booklet numbered to 10 with uh, all six position player autographs in there. Really a sweet little deal. And minor imperfection down there on the corner. Maybe some minor imperfections on the spine, but as a whole, really nice. So we'll just start our recap with this beautiful little booklet. That was just given to the Rams using random.org. And then, of course, we've got uh, our two redemptions, the Paris Campbell for the Colts that will be unnumbered, the David Montgomery for the Bears. Looks like it's going to be numbered to 25. Then we may as well, I had him sitting there, so we may as well recap him. The Joey Bosa, he's the lowest numbered one we found tonight. It, it was numbered to 10, so that's probably why I have it sitting there. And let's recap the rest of it. We have Vikings, Lions, Steelers, Chiefs, Patriots, Panthers, and Eagles. Followed by some uh, Tennessee Titans. And there's the Lions again, the Cardinals, the Cardinals, 
and the Ravens and the Colts. See, there's the Paris Campbell, hard signed even. Like, so how did this one get done? You would think the hard signed one wouldn't be done, you know? Like, that would be the redemption, but I don't know. It's kind of weird, but anyway, got a redemption for him nonetheless. Patriots and Seahawks. There's that handsome Kyler Murray hit, number 225, which is pretty low number for Kyler. Then we have some Redskins, the Panthers, one of many Giants, an Eagle, another Redskin, a Bronco. The Colts, the Eagles, the Patriots, Patriots again. The Giants, the one of one for the Jets with Le'Veon Bell, printing plate one of one. Cardinals, Vikings, and Cardinals again, and Vikings again, and Pittsburgh Steelers. Ravens, Giants again, Redskins again, that is the Chiefs. And the Raiders, there's the Daniel Jones hard signed autograph out for the Giants. Got a good little start out for them. And then we have more Redskins. And there's the one you missed, Stang Lover. There's your A.J. Brown for the Titans, and it's uh, numbered 275. Came out pretty early on. And then the Rams, and the Broncos, and the Rams, and the Raiders, and the Lions. All right, so that is the break. That is the recap. I will put up the spreadsheet information one final time. If you missed it earlier, this is going to be uh, your chance to take a look at your anticipated shipping information. And we'll also take a quick little spin through what's, uh, what's coming up in the days ahead. But first things first, let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Saturday is your projected shipping date. Um, it may be later than that. It could go to Monday. Honestly, I don't really know right now. We had a death in the family late this afternoon, and I am unsure about the arrangements and the other things. So at this time, I can't give you an absolute firm date. I'm uh, hoping Saturday, maybe sooner, maybe later, maybe as late as, you know, going into Monday, but I'm going to try really hard to uh, get it out to you on Saturday, if at all possible. That's for both breaks tonight. Everybody would have pulled cards in Bowman Chrome, so we don't need to worry about consolation cards there. However, if you happen to get skunked in... Um, origins and you didn't pull a card of any sort base or otherwise you would still get a package in the mail and it will ship out when the rest of the break ships and it will have consolation card or cards in it tomorrow night we're going to open a case of xr football and the back half of contenders basketball we started that case a couple of nights ago on Thursday, we're going to open Gold Rush Gem Mint Series 2 Baseball. It is a 12-pack box. In this case, uh, a box is the same as a case for Gold Rush stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. We're going to open that and Trinity Football, both on Thursday night. Friday night, it is a new release day. There are two new release items. We're breaking one of them that night, National Treasures Baseball, along with a half case of Spectra Football that are loose boxes from a shared case, and then another case of Bowman Chrome Baseball. On Saturday, um, most likely that is where I will plug in Illusions Football because it did not get listed to end on Friday like I had intended. So it's probably going to get, uh, I mean, I just messed up is what happened. I just messed it up. So I'll probably plug it in on a three-day auction and have it end on Saturday, most likely. On Sunday, we're going to start super early, eight or super early for us, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. It's going to be an all memorabilia kind of day or night. A pair of Gold Rush autographed baseball jerseys. Those are the Series 2 baseball jerseys. We're going to open a full case of TriStar Game Day Greats autographed football jerseys. There are five in that. Then a full case of TriStar Game Day Greats autographed full-size football helmets, which is the first time TriStar has uh, given us full-size football helmets. So we'll give a go at that with a three-box case all at once. And then finally, we'll wrap it up with uh, Leaf Memorabilia Treasury. It's got five memorabilia items in there, and they, they're multi-sport. It can also be out of categories that are not even sports categories. 
Uh, so there's a lot of different category listings. They are all in the football categories where I just put them all in there. And uh, usually that memorabilia vault, memorabilia treasury and stuff, is usually pretty fun. So uh, we'll look forward to that on Sunday night. And that, I believe, is it uh, for me tonight. And uh, Elias, uh, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Very nice uh, of you guys to join me and gals this evening. So thanks, everyone, once again for being here. Always appreciate you. And uh, I guess I am out of here until tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye now.